What in the world? When, why, where? Who's got the answer? Skunk Bear! How is Hensel and me? That's a good question. Good question. You probably know that pencil lead isn't actually lead. It's a mineral called graphite, a lattice of pure carbon atoms. To get to this graphite's origin, we can't just go back to a pencil factory. We have to go all the way back to the start of the universe. Back then, there wasn't any carbon, just a hot soup of high-energy particles. They cooled, forming hydrogen and helium. In the bellies of dying stars, helium atoms were smashed together. Carbon was born. When these stars exploded, the universe was seeded with this versatile new element. Here, on our planet, all living things are built with carbon atoms. That's why Carl Sagan was fond of saying, we we're made, made of star, star stuff. stuff. So how did this carbon get into pencils? Living things died, and some of them piled up in lake beds. Over millions of years, their carbon atoms rearranged. Depending on pressure and temperature, sometimes they became oil or coal. And sometimes they became graphite. A storm in 16th century England revealed one of these deposits, and local shepherds used the stuff to mark their sheep. Graphite is a bunch of flat sheets of carbon atoms stacked on top of each other. The bonds between those sheets are weak, so they slide apart really easily. And when you drag a piece of graphite across a surface, like a piece of paper or a sheep, it leaves those sheets behind. Graphite looked and acted a lot like lead, so that's what people called it. In the 1800s, a thoughtful young man named Henry David Thoreau found that mixing graphite with clay made it harder. Pencils with clay or graphite made lighter marks, and Thoreau's proud father introduced a numbering system. Soon, pencils were being mass-produced in factories like the General Pencil Company. They've been making pencils here for over a century. It all starts in the lead department, where graphite and clay are mixed in giant drums. This machine shapes the clay into rods. These are the cores of future pencils. They're baked to remove moisture. In the grooving department, the cores are placed between wood panels. Two panels are glued together, set to dry, and then cut into individual pencils. In the polishing department, the pencils get layer upon layer of paint. And the final touch? how pencil lead is made. Send us more of your questions and please subscribe to our channel. We'll answer new questions every other Tuesday.